Hey guys, thought I'd do something a little bit more classic. And you're probably like, well, don't you always do black? Don't you always do a black screen, dude? Not the point. Not the point. <sighs> the point is. So, okay, y'all know about Richard Cuda, right? Dude was in Rally for Sally. And dude wanted credit for everything, even though he did contribute, but he wanted to take. Went to strong arm everybody because he he did most of the work and because of that he he manipulated and tried to and kick dogs out of the group and manipulated more people to follow him and then like a bunch of bunch of stuff happened when they all caught when they all freaking exposed him in his bowl and honestly I just hate how he's just playing the victim like it like. Like every all this is like all this is everybody else's fault, and not mine. Alex trusted this man, and I know, guys. You guys may not think Alex is like the like the most pinnacle, the pinnacle of like a good guy, but he is. He ain't, like yeah, he will always like again. I always get passionate about the very things he's talking about, but like again, like I said, in my own. My other video on Alex, it will always be like that because, you know, we all get passionate in this freaking Sonic fandom. Let's not act like we don't admit that. But I'd say Richard's like the other side of that. Because he's a guy that blames everybody else for his failings in this fandom. To me... To me, this is why I never really understand. Why doesn't Richard just leave this fandom? Seriously. Like, straight up leave the Sonic community altogether. I don't understand that. Why does he constantly stay in a fandom that basically makes him a... You know, seemingly makes him unhappy. If everybody's exploited his work when he's been manipulating people behind the scenes... Richard, I want to just tell you this. Stop trying to play the victim like you, like like everything is everybody else's fault. If you didn't if you didn't freaking wheel and deal, my friend, I think things would have been better off for you. Maybe you would have actually redeemed yourself in the eyes of the fandom. Things could have been different for you. But here you are. Still on the, still in this fandom after complaining and leaving it. And still trying to do your same old things. And I don't like people with mental illnesses. <laughs> because literally, literally mental, literally I don't deal with people with mental illnesses. Let me just tell you something, bro. If you're, if your freaking whole plan is just be like, I'm going to just be the most unlikable person. I'm going to be the most unlikable person so far now. Like, I was a little unlikable back in the day, but I'm going to try and triple it. No, I'm going to double it. I'm going to keep going because I'm going to really show how unlikable I can really be. Look, Rich, I shouldn't even try. I shouldn't even try to do this video. You know, I could have just phoned this one in and totally just called you a bunch of, a bunch of shit out of your name, but I'm not going to do that. Because honestly, I could, we could talk about we can talk about your various you know activities, but I'm not gonna do that because everybody else has, don't has to. But at the end of the day, my friend, you gotta understand one thing: you lied, you manipulated. I don't care if you think you didn't do anything wrong. The proof that everybody has against you says otherwise. I'm just saying, if, if this fandom is such a big problem to you, why don't you leave? And I'm not saying, like, leave now. No, I'm saying, if it's really that much of a big issue to you, why don't you go? I don't really understand what's keeping you here. Like, bro. Like, dude. You're, like, dude. You're, like... 
you're like up there in age. I'm not really gonna like everybody knows your age, but I'm not really gonna. I'm not really going to just you know go too much into it. But like, dude, you should move on to other things. It's like the only reason you're still here in the Sonic fandom is like you can never let crap go. Like I'm gonna show the fi- I'm gonna show the Sally Acorn st- the Sally Acorn stuff I had planned. Because, well, I'm going to just do that. I just feel like you're rubbing everything in Alex's face like it, like it, like it bothers him. Like, when you actually, like, I'm going to say this. When you actually went behind his back and did all this, it did bother him. He did feel bad, he did feel like, he did feel sad about it, but you just, you didn't care. You just you just wanted to lie and manipulate. Now you're just playing the victim like everybody is everybody's been mean to you. No, you manipulated and lied, man. And like my parents used to say, for every action there's a reaction. And because you both lied and manipulated people, <laughs> you got that reaction. Probably wasn't the one you wanted, but it still happened. Because when because when people do the kind of stuff that you do, yeah, you're going to get it in the end. But hey, this is from a dude that has no mental illnesses, no, no, no mental disabilities. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, Rich, either A, just give up on this whole route. Give up on your little trying to make your own little movement. Because all I know, I know you're just probably doing this out of spite. And you know what? Let me get in. Let me get into. Let me get into a few things. Why? Okay. Why did you? Why did you a harass the freaking Sega representative? Okay. Explain that to me. Why did you do all of that? Why did you lie and manipulate? Why did you try and take the movement that my friend started? Out of, out of just wanting a character to be in a mobile game of all things, and you turned it into something else. Why? And like, why do you still have to freaking cry and whine about it? You should move on. Everybody else is still mo- trying to make Rally for Sally still like. Everybody else is making Sally, Rally for Sally still work, but here you are stuck. Made another freaking, made another ass out of yourself, so now you're just stuck. Like, it feels like this is a pattern for you. Mess, you know, do, you know, be dirty and then double down on how the, everybody was mean to you. And let me tell you something. I have dealt with you indirectly. On DeviantArt because people used to think I was you. And trust me, I got my own anger. I got my own anger against you. But you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna get too. I'm not gonna get too in my feelings about it because at the end of the day, you're just still. You're still gonna freaking cry. You're still gonna freaking. Say that it was all Alex's fault and everything else's fault until the cows come home. And there's really nothing more we can do about it. <sighs> like, Rich, I just want you to know one thing. You had a chance to redeem yourself in the eyes of these fans. You had a chance to redeem yourself from the whole community. But you did the exact opposite. You squandered it. And for what? Just so you can take over the movement? <laughs> just so you can like just so you can feel like you're the big you're the <laughs> you're the big man here. Sir. At the end of the day, you can't blame anybody for your failures but yourself. Trust me, it's a lesson I even had to learn. I don't, you know, if I fail in something, I don't blame. 
this person or that person or a group of people. If I fail and I know it's my fault, I accept it. But you just don't. You know, Alex and the others had a good thing going, but you had to just ruin it. But hey, that's what you've always done. Green-Eyed Sonic? Green-Eyed Sonic, anybody? Oh my god, Green-Eyed Sonic. In, in a somewhat mediocre game. I'm just like... Like, it ain't, like, I gotta be honest, in retrospect, that green eye thing wasn't serious. But you and a bunch of other people on DA just felt like, it is serious! And I was just like, no it isn't. Designs change. Jesus. <laughs> but, that's all I really have to say. That's all I really have to say to you. I say stop playing the victim. And if you're so unhappy, then get out of this fandom and start doing some other stuff for yourself, man. I say leave it all behind. But you're probably not going to do that. You're probably going to think I got some kind of mental disorder or something and assume that I'm just doing this for Alex. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it simply because. I'm doing it simply because. I'm just tired of all this, like, crap you've been kind of spewing on my friend. And I feel like if there's anybody to blame for how things turned out, it's you. It will always be on you. No one else. And whether you want to see that or not, that's the truth. But, hey, keep on pretending like, every, like it's everybody's fault. Because it's only going to just mess with you in the long run mentally. So have fun. Me. I have so... I'm taking a break from all the things I'm working on. But when Monday rolls around, I got work to do. So I'll see you later, man. Or never again. Either way. Peace.